Hello, today I'm going to be discussing the residency match for 2020-2021. Because of COVID-19, there have been many changes regarding what you will be able to do to influence your chances of matching this year. I'm going to be discussing those factors that you can influence and those factors that you cannot influence and what you can do to increase your chances of matching this year. Let's get started now. I am first going to identify the major residency match application ingredients, and I'm going to um, list these based on the amount of control that you have over each ingredient. For example, your personal statement and your application are completely within your control. You will be composing these documents on your own, so you need to ensure that they are interesting and compelling. Your letters of recommendation are to some degree within your control, and asking for the right letters of recommendation is going to be especially crucial this year. Next, your USMLE scores are not within your control, and um, the new USMLE policies and cancellations are also not within your control. And finally, away rotations and whether or not those away rotations can or cannot happen is something else that you cannot control. So let's discuss each of these items one by one, and let's also discuss how you can optimize your chances to get a residency match due to each of these individual individual factors. My name is Dr. Jessica Friedman. I am a former associate program director at the Alec Khan School of Medicine at Mount Sinai and the founder and president of MedEdit's Medical Admissions. Your residency personal statement and application will offer the most powerful opportunity for you to impact your overall candidacy. Because of COVID, now more than ever, composing a truly compelling and interesting residency personal statement becomes extremely important. How you do this to some degree will depend upon the specialty to which you are applying. However, for every specialty in medicine, it is important that you tell your story, including both details about your personal background, as well as including information about why you are interested in the specialty to which you are applying. That is crucial. Now let's talk about letters of recommendation. In a typical residency application year, we recommend at least two letters of recommendation from people within the specialty to which you are applying. However, because of COVID, this ideal is not going to be possible for the vast majority of students. In fact, some specialties are limiting the number of letters of recommendation from people within the specialty. So, as an applicant, what should you do with regards to your letters of recommendation? If your specialty is limiting the numbers of recommendation you can get from people within the specialty, you need to follow those guidelines and you should reach out to the residency leadership or your deans at your medical school and ask them from whom you should get letters of recommendation. Many specialties and many medical schools are offering this specific direction to students within each specialty. Now let's talk about the USMLE. As most of you know, USMLE Step 2 CS has been canceled for the next 12 to 18 months. For US medical students, this should have little impact since passing of USMLE Step 2 CS is not required to take part in the match and requirements are set by individual medical schools with regards to graduation requirements and the requirements to start a residency program are also dictated by each residency program. So it is very likely that these requirements are obviously going to shift this year. For international medical graduates, the ECFMG is currently working on a solution to find something other than the USMLE um, Step 2 CS that will allow for certification. So you need to stay tuned for details on that. Now let's talk about away rotations. Away rotations have 
usually been the most important for the very competitive specialties, especially the surgical specialties and the surgical subspecialties. But this year, not only have the vast majority of away rotations been canceled, but some specialties are actually limiting the number of specialty-specific rotations that they are allowing for applicants. So what does this mean for you as a student who's applying to a very competitive specialty or maybe to a specialty where you were really hoping to get into a specific program within a geographic area, for example? You will need to become more reliant on the factors that you can control, as I've already talked about, such as your personal statement, your application, and your letters of recommendation. And it's also really important to understand that every residency applicant this year is in the same boat as you. So what can you do to improve your chances of matching? First of all, if you want professional help, MedEdits is offering specialty-specific guidance this year from physicians within every specialty of medicine, which is very important because the nuances between specialties is going to be so crucial this year when applying for residency. You want to follow your medical school's guidance. You also want to follow the umbrella organization of whatever specialty you are applying to. Some specialties have outlined very specific guidelines for students already. You want to network and talk to attendings within the specialty to which you are applying and ask them for guidance and for advice. And finally, you want to compose great documents because this year those documents are really more so than ever going to impact who gets an interview and who does not. So we encourage you to subscribe to our channel. We will be posting more videos as the residency match season progresses this year. And I wish you the best of luck in the residency match.